Well, European countries are infusing cash into the energy sector to address surging prices, with some fearing they could have a too-big-to-fail situation in the making. And our very own Newsmax foreign correspondent Alex Salvi is live in Rome with the outlook. Good morning, Alex. Alex, good morning to you. Finland and Sweden both announcing plans to make billions of dollars available to power companies in hopes of bringing down energy prices and, quite frankly, keeping those companies afloat. Now, that move, of course, coming in response to Russia shutting down exports from its Nord Stream pipeline, putting an additional squeeze on consumers. But Finland's economic minister warning that this situation has the makings of a Lehman Brothers-like moment for the continent. Lehman Brothers, of course, infamous for its bankruptcy filing in 2008, with the fourth largest bank in the U.S., more than $600 billion in debt, and triggering a financial crisis around the globe. So there are fears that if these energy companies can't stay afloat, it could have ripple effects that go well beyond their industry. We're at uh, prices which are 10 to 15 times the 10-year average. So these are... These are prices that are causing severe demand destruction across the whole of Europe. So we're seeing major bits of industry shutting down now because they can't afford to buy gas and make whatever they make, whether it's steel or fertilizer or, or uh, glass. Now, the reason for these fears is because energy companies largely deal in futures, meaning that they sell most of their power years in advance to stabilize prices today. The problem now, however, is that the current uncertainty in the markets makes it difficult to forecast these projections, forcing the companies to either withdraw their positions or deposit cash as a sort of safety net. Now, if funds fall below a certain point, it's known as a margin call, with some analysts estimating that power companies could be in a $1.5 trillion hole as of right now. EU energy ministers will meet on Friday in an effort to coordinate their approach to the economic effects of Russia halting its gas exports, including discussions of a new line of credit to support these power companies. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today.